Once upon a time, in a magical land where the sun always shined and the flowers bloomed all year round, there lived two very special friends, Mickey Mouse and Winnie the Pooh. They lived in a beautiful place called the Enchanted Forest, where the trees whispered gentle songs and the rivers sparkled like diamonds. One sunny morning, Mickey Mouse was busy in his cozy little house, making a picnic basket full of tasty treats. He packed cheese sandwiches, fresh fruits, and saw his favorite cookies. This is going to be a great day, Mickey said with a big smile. Meanwhile, in a small honey-colored house nearby, Winnie the Pooh was doing something he loved very much. He was sitting at his table enjoying a big pot of honey. Oh, brother, this honey is simply delightful. Pooh said with a chuckle, licking his sticky paws. Just then there was a knock at Pooh's door. Pooh opened it to find his friend Mickey Mouse standing outside holding the picnic basket. Hi, Pooh. Would you like to want a picnic with me? Mickey said, waving happily. Pooh's eyes lit up. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Mickey. Can we bring some honey? Of course. Mickey laughed, knowing how much Paul loved honey. The two friends set off on their adventure, walking through the enchanted forest. The birds sang cheerful songs and the butterflies danced around them in the warm breeze. As they walked, Mickey and Pooh came across a sparkling stream with a little wooden bridge. On the other side, they saw a glistening meadow filled with colorful flowers. It was the perfect place for a picnic. This looks like the spot, don't you think, Pooh? Mickey asked. Oh yes, it's perfect. Pooh agreed, his tummy rumbling in excitement. They spread out their red and white chuckered blanket and unpacked the picnic basket. Mickey handed Pooh a sandwich and Pooh dipped it in honey before taking a big bite. Mmm, honey makes everything better. Pooh said with a happy sigh. As they ate and chatted, they suddenly heard a rustling sound from the bushes nearby. Mickey and Paul looked at each other, curious about what it could be. Out from the bushes popped a little bunny with soft fluffy fur and big bright eyes. Hello there, what's your name? Mickey said kindly. The bunny twitched its nose and replied, I'm Binky and I'm lost. I can't find my way home. Oh dear, don't worry Binky, we'll help you find your home said Pooh, feeling sorry for the little bunny. Mickey stood up and dusted off his shorts. That's right, the enchanted forest can be tricky, but we'll figure it out together. So Mickey Pooh and Binky the bunny set off on a new adventure to find Binky's home. They crossed the stream, climbed over rocks, and even tiptoed past a family of sleeping squirrels. After a while, they reached a clearing where the trees were tall and the flowers were as blue as the sky. Binky's eyes lit up. This is it! This is my home! In the middle of the clearing was a cozy little burrow, just right for a bunny. Binky hopped up to the entrance and turned back to Mickey and Boo. Thank you so much. I was really scared, but you two made everything better. We're just glad we could help, Binky. Mickey smiled and waved. Anytime you need a friend, you can count on us. Pooh added his round tummy full of honey and happiness. With Winky safely home, Mickey and Pooh returned to their picnic spot. They finished their treats and spent the rest of the afternoon playing games and telling stories. As the sun began to set, painting the sky in soft pinks and oranges, Mickey and Pooh packed up their things and headed home. They were tired but happy, knowing that they have helped a friend in need. Today was a good day, Pooh said with a yawn. Sure was, buddy. And tomorrow will be even better. Mickey agreed, petting Pooh on the back. And so, as the stars twinkled above the enchanted forest, Mickey and Pooh drifted off to sleep, dreaming of their next big adventure.